The question is, where are we? Look around, it's colorful, it's swanky, it's loungy, look at this. We are in Seattle and I'm reporting for ISIS Live. Look at all the fabrics and fancy chandeliers. So this is where the sponsorship reception is going to be, Teatro Zanzani. And this is a dinner theater, which we're gonna hear about from Kevin Joyce. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. So straight in. So what do you do here at Teatro? I help produce and direct special events offsite and here that come in that are not part of a TV show. Okay, so he's already using lingo. TZ, what is Teatro Zanzani? A lot of people from out of town, so what is it in a nutshell? Teatro Zanzani is a 20-year-old um, imported 1915 tent from Europe that is gorgeous and ornate that has a three-hour show with a five-course, five-star meal and constant interactive world-class entertainment from all over. And he's not joking around. I actually just went to one, and I, I was at one, I think, 10 years ago, and... Um, What's really cool is it rotates. Like, tell me how many shows, how many different shows? Probably four per year. It comes in and they bring in artists from Europe and South America and all over the place who are here for three months or so. And they create one particular world and it'll be a, a story about a magician or a story about a, a, a gypsy group. And they'll always use the tent and four or five different skill acts, world-class Cirque du Soleil type acts, plus humor and music and interactive characters that all kind of invent this magical world. And how do you how do you keep it fresh? Because um, a lot of people um, would have one show. It's tried and true. It's awesome. Don't change it. But you're you're taking a risk and always changing it. How do you keep it fresh with rotating so often? Well, you keep it fresh by rotating it so often. It's also improv improvisational because the audience is here and the audience is different every single night. And half of the act is characters walking around and improvising with the crowd, and half of the acts on stage are people coming up from the audience and being interacted with characters. You have no idea what's going to happen on any given night. What is set are the world-class skilled trapeze and juggling acts that have been training in Russia since they were eight years old or China or wherever it is, and they never change because they've done their act 14,000 times, and this is what they do. Um, but it's also part of a world of variety performers, all of whom move throughout the world. So we'll have cast members who will go from here to Germany to Monte Carlo and then take three weeks off and then come back here or go to San Francisco. So this world of performers, variety performers, do their act one night uh, gigs or three month gigs. But they uh, very unusual for them to have a multi-year gig unless it's a show like Cirque du Soleil. And a lot of these performers come from Cirque. Do you have, um, do you have kind of an a la carte type system? There is, in the show, every time people come to the show, it's the same kind of template of a show. But Teatro Zanzani can bring its world, its interactive characters, and its skill acts off-site to a venue like the convention center. Like last night, we directed a show for a thousand Costco managers, and we created a show, brought Teatro Zanzani, and then some sort of extra performers from throughout the country in to create a customized show for, with the Teatro Zanzani brand in collaboration with Enjoy Productions, which is my company. And people also come to the tent, and they can create their own world at the tent on an off-show night. You can either buy out the tent and have the show, or you can come on a Monday or Tuesday night, and we can create anything for you. So if I'm an event planner, I could say, I want the ballerina, the mechanical ballerina, who's so amazing, and I want this and this, and then create that because our brand is ballerina-esque, and you'll just piece it together for me. Yeah, or we're doing a fundraiser that's based on the notion of flight or the notion of wonder and awe, and so we'll use acts from the tent if they're available and they want to do it yeah, that night, yeah. and they don't need two days off to go to Hawaii or Las Vegas or something like that in two days. Hawaii? No. Um, but we'll bring in other acts, or we'll customize something in a particular world. And what you have with Zinzani, as we'll see in a second, is this very, very particular visual and production environment, which means there are super, super high-end lights and sounds and beautiful decor and a world-class um, kitchen. So the bang for the buck is unlike anything anywhere you can get because the prices are fantastic given those production values. And Kevin, um, you've been, uh, what was your first, um, you were started as one of the chef yeah, actors? Yeah, I was hired as the chef character who for most of the time in Zinzani is the one who has three different appearances before salad, dinner, and the dessert, and grabs someone from the audience and does something real fun and funny with them that also drives the theme or the plot of the show along. So I would sing and do interactive comedy and write script and have a seven-minute scene and a 15-minute scene and another seven-minute scene, and other chef characters have the same type of thing. And that chef role has evolved, so it's not always a chef. Sometimes it's a magician sometimes. And so 
That was in 2001, and it is 2014? Yeah, it is. I did. So I was the chef role, and I was also a director of the show. Many different iterations of the show here and in San Francisco, as was my partner and wife, Martha. And I'd do two shows a year and then have some time off. And then 2006, I... I stopped doing that because we had a kid and live an hour away. And um, but I've worked with TZ all the, uh, for years, and I was also friends with One Real and TZ for 15 years before that. So I've been in relationship with Norm and Rini and Annie for 25 years. Wow! So we're in for for quite a surprise for that sponsor receptions. Very exciting. It's going to be a surprise because I have no idea what we're going to do. <laughs> we do know what acts are coming but we have none, no idea about the rest of it, so that will be fun. So, Kevin, we just took a little, quick little a look. What did we just see? Because that's Kevin Kent and Christine Deaver, who is a uh, talent from Los Angeles, a comedian and, and television actress, who are creating their interactive scenes for the next show. And they're both big improvisers, so they have to sort of figure out what the template is for their thing, and then they'll work it out live. But they're probably a week away or a couple weeks away from going live. So they have their stage manager and some script supervisors and a director watching them, and they're working out their bits, making it up, making it up as they as they prepare right now. And we saw we saw the magic happening right there. Yeah, Thanks. It's, it's sort of like wild animals. You don't want to get too close. I will in a minute. I will skip in there and, and squeeze them both in, in the behind. <laughs> Very nice. Kevin Joyce. That's Kevin Joyce. Thank